Welcome to Jamaica, beautiful land of the sunshine. Here to welcome you to my channel, we discuss things concerning solar, home improvement, construction, anything to do around the home. Like, comment, and make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. Ah, it is a glorious day. It is a glorious day. Mm -hmm. So today I want to talk about when your lithium battery well, not just to talk, but to show you. When your lithium battery go into sleep mode, what to do or what I do because there are different method person. You can use um, like a jump start. You can use like another battery of the same voltage. Um, yeah, to, to, to wake up that sleeping beast, you know. When your beast start to sleep, you can always use that to wake. Yeah. When I say a beast, I mean a lithium battery. <laughs> lithium, lithium is like a beast. I mean, it is a new technology and I, I'm just loving it, right? So, in this video, you might see my hands all dirty and all that. Nothing now, but in the one that I'll show you. So, um, I was there on the 9th of July, rushing to get, you know, we as men, we always delay. So I was here rushing to get things done because I, had to travel overseas so i was there rushing and everything we had we uh, run a workshop for those who don't know we my wife and i we run a little um workshop you know uh, you can check out our stuff um lexi headboard um and instagram lexi it's spelled l-e-x-y and instagram so you can go over there and check her but anyway we're there uh using up using up not paying attention to what was going on and anyway boop battery ran down and i had also just run and do a quick video so i just do a quick video for, for you all to see what's popping so um i'm presently overseas i'm not in the island but uh be going home shortly be going home shortly so i get some new stuff you know to do videos for you all to understand that you can do it you can do it um i mean i have a lot of video i uh, promise bridging you're getting it, right? Don't be alarmed, you're getting it. But I must say shout out to my viewers and my subscribers. What's it? Yeah, man, give thanks. Appreciate the love, really, really, really. Even if I not express it the way more I say, I appreciate the love, Bridget. And I mean, you're like a family. Thank you all for, you know, the emails, for the, the comments, for the love, for the likes, for the share. Why you not love me so much? Well, anyway, guys, without a delay, let's get into the video showing you how to revive your lithium battery. Or some person will say how to awoke, awoke, awake, awoke. That that you um you had you 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 could Two you do hours later. How to awake your lithium your lithium battery or to revive your lithium battery when it goes into um, sleep mode because every now and then it does happen depending on the amount of stuff you're running right so without a delay let's get into it again thanks to all my viewers and my subscribers and if you don't subscribe as yet go ahead and just subscribe hit the notification bell so that when I upload a new content you'll be the first to be notified Love y'all, let's get into the video right now. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Once again, I'm here with another video. So, um, my system, not getting nothing out of it. As you can see, nothing out of it. So, um, this is something that I want to show you. So if um, your battery runs down below the cutoff um, voltage, right? Um, so normally, when the battery is low to a certain dimension, it would actually give you a warning. And if you ignore the warning, then the BMS in the battery will go into protected mode. And if the BMS go into protective mode, then it will shut down the system. And uh, sometimes you can actually remove 
my hands are dirty because I'm doing some work. But sometimes you can actually remove this fuse and after you remove the fuse and put it back, then it would um it would um come on back automatically. Um bear in mind that this breaker is on and this breaker is on, then it would automatically chip in back. I hope you're not getting a bad quality on this video because I'm using my phone. <laughs> uh, just a quick one, just to give you an update. If you ever fall into this position, what to do? So um, the system, the entire system shut down. The inverter is shut off, right? There is nothing on it. This is an on and there is nothing on it, right? Nothing on this likewise, right? So I'm going to show you what to do what you would have to do is get another 24 volt system seeing that my system is 24 volt to use to boots up this so what we're going to do is my old system i'm going to carry um some power from my old system to boots up back um the bms so it's all right guys we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the brown as a negative Brown wire is a negative, and we just wanna ease it up so that a connection can be made, right? Nothing fancy. It's 24 volts, so you have to make sure everything is tight. I'm gonna go over to this side now. We're gonna connect the blue as a positive. Right? We're just gonna don't watch my hands guys, I'm doing <laughs> doing some construction work. Uh, video will soon be up for that. Alright? So yes guys, so we connect the negative over there and the positive over here. Right? And we're going to go all the way this way. Alright? Hold on. All the way. And this is the ends for my other system, right? So, all I'm gonna do, make sure this is on, on, right? And that is on. So yes, guys, remember we said that this is the negative, right? The brown is the negative and the blue is the positive. So all we're gonna do, positive, which is this. Let me use my amp meter just to make 100% sure. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do, hold it. What we're gonna do, guys, I'm gonna use my amp meter. Even though I know that this is the positive, the blue is the positive, and this one is the negative, I'm gonna take my amp meter, right? So, um, blue is the positive, right? I hope you're seeing my amp meter, and this is the negative. And as you can see, we're gonna go ahead now, and we're gonna connect this, the positive to the positive, and the negative to the negative and boots it up back. Look, up there now. As you can see, it's up and running again. You see that, guys? So look down here now. Then you can remove this now. And look, you see that? So it's just like that, guys. You're gonna lock off back your inverter. You didn't have to turn that on in the first place. You know? And you see? So it gone up back now to 26. 0.1 volts. You see that, guys? You understand what I'm saying, guys? So, it, you, yeah, basically, what you do is just to boot up back um, the BMS in it, and you're good to go. All right, guys, so that was just a quick video.